When a man knows his value and doesn't put up with nonsense, he is unstoppable. Looking at the big picture and seeing how most relationships play out today, you just have to ignore the addictive hormonal programming and come to the realization that the juice isn't worth the squeeze. The thing with seeing reality for what it really is, you can never unsee it. Women are trapped in an endless cycle. Here's how that goes. Women reject and ignore good men or the nice guy for the bad boy, a.k.a. Chads and Tyrones, in their 20s. Then, they want to settle for the good guy in their 30s, with a high body count, with one or two kids from another man, and lots of emotional and negative mental baggage from previous relationships. When the good guys realize that they're better off without these women, they ignore them and reject them, which makes these women cry out and whine all over the internet, ultimately leading young women to act the same way these women did in their prime. And the cycle continues. Strange that in some cases divorced or single women only start being terrified of being single and alone after they couldn't hold their marriage together. They should have been more terrified of being single when they were still married, but instead take a man's devotion and hard work for granted. I really wish it was different, but women are on some mission to try and prove they are equal to men and, in the process, become feminist zombies who are incapable of independent thought and sound judgment. We all know that the more partners women have, the less ability they have to connect with someone. Happens to men too, but it takes a lot longer as we are biologically wired to spread our seed. Society is crumbling and a big reason is because people have abandoned the roles biology has laid out for them. Of course, marriage isn't something you can just throw away like so many today do. I listen to a lot of young folks talking and the selfishness and immorality astound me. They want instant gratification instead of long-term satisfaction, which is why most people are so unhappy today. Everything takes work, especially relationships, and if you aren't willing to do the work, you'll end up alone and depressed. I also think it's very naive to think that the problem is only about men and not women. There are so many problems with relationships in our society. Motivations to stay single are multiple, and not all of them revolve around bad relationship experience. Heavy loans, women's career chasing, disloyal, hypergamous, and incredibly entitled nature. Unclear future and so many more reasons to avoid adding another kid to this world of misery. Respect is the most important thing to have for a strong, lifelong marriage. Most modern women do not give respect. They demand it for themselves and do not reciprocate, and then wonder why they are always arguing, why life is not as much fun as it should be. Of course, Men need to be of standard, but the bulk are, and the bulk of modern women keep on being disrespectful and entitled. People work all day, and when they come home, they are both in a grumpy mood and can't bond like they naturally should do, because they have been artificially separated by the greedy nature of business. This is happening with kids as well. Parents simply don't have the time to bond, and this is why everyone is turning out to be angry and not feeling like they can connect with others. We need to stop the idea of five days a week work. Three days per week at the most. Many jobs require you to work 10, 15 hour days, and it's causing a lot of issues relationship wise. This is part of the solution. Modern women truly fear being alone as much as they fear single men. Both go hand in hand. The more single men they see, the more cause for anxiety they have. To understand this, we must first examine the fundamental physiology and thought processes of women. I've already talked about hypergamy in the past and how women are constantly seeking the ideal partner. Let me now talk about how women cherish their perception and self-respect. Many things will start to make sense and fall into place once you realize that. Women are the epitome of attractiveness and beauty. This is their key selling point and is generally acknowledged. Women are often utilized as symbols of lust and love since a woman's attractiveness is her most powerful tool. That is what made her desirable in the past. The reason why the beauty industry exists, why jewelry has been worn for thousands of years, why makeup has been used since ancient Egypt, and why women place such emphasis on their appearance. They will find better suitors the more they can make themselves look like that. A woman will have a sizable pool from which to select her ideal partner, and she will almost surely select the one with the highest value. 
That implies that the size of the pool a woman may attract is the main determinant of her value in society. If no one approaches her and she is turned down, she will become completely worthless. If you think being rejected as a man hurts, wait till you see how rejection affects women. When they are rejected, women completely break down. They simply aren't accustomed to it. When a date is canceled or they are rejected, women have a hard time digesting the truth. Some women like these can even be found on TikTok. When they are in their late 20s and have fewer options for partners, you'll find them more frequently. Women, particularly contemporary women who were the most hypergamous women ever, fear single men who are content with their lives. The fact is that we are headed into a worldwide depression which will be the worst economic crisis we have ever seen. This will put millions of modern women on the streets, kids in tow. Simps and manginas will be so happy, but will only be able to save a handful. How will you react when you are promised everything you have wanted? I ask because it's coming. If you are able to provide, you will have multiples of street trash begging for a way in. Decide now how you will handle it or you will have to decide in real time and we often make poor decisions when we don't have time to think about it. I can tell you from personal experience that I was ignored by many women when growing up, not all as I've had relationships, but could always feel that I was a placeholder until Chad or Tyrone came along. Now if I'm surrounded by 100 single older women all vying for a good, loyal, loving single man, they will see me. But I walk away because you cannot offer anything I want, as you've given your bodies, multiple times to Chad's and Tyrone's. Your past childbearing age are almost there, and not able to offer children in a good-sized family as your eggs are either almost gone or are completely gone. Women need men more than men need women when it comes down to it. That's our leverage. But there's more and more single aging women and all that happens really is. They go insane and become that crazily unreasonable and intolerable woman that pretty much everyone knows personally if you think about it. But why waste my later life with a well-used woman who's desperate for some guy, so she won't die alone? Whilst myself and millions of other men have grown up over the years, watching you all ignore us until you are finally desperate. But we are now happy and content with our lives. And being alone to us doesn't mean being lonely. You just have nothing to offer us as you've left it far too long. Another perspective is that women are fickle and always change. This is why if you try to impress her today or tomorrow, you'll need a new trick. On and on it goes. If she says she'll do something at the very last moment, she can just change her mind, not caring how her actions affect those around her. It's pointless to deal with these creatures, and the ancient men in their wisdom were right about them. Never try to impress her and never trust her word, for she will change without any honor or concern for her destructive tendencies. Pump and dump only, or just get a doll or both. Being independent is something that feminism taught women, but it did not teach them how being alone will affect them. Women aren't meant to live single lives. They're meant to be social, nurture families, and provide love and warmth. Without any people in their lives, they're miserable. On the other hand, men can live independently without worry. They're not biologically wired to live with other people. They need women for only two things. One is physical and one is comfort. You take that away, and if a man can keep himself focused on his goals, even this need goes away. Men can survive and thrive without women. Women need men more than they will ever admit. So. When women ask where have all the good men gone, the answer is nowhere, as they're everywhere and all around you, but we're invisible to you because we don't have what you expect from men. Then when you finally see us and want us to pair up with you and marry you or live with you, well, we don't want you because you're too old to be able to give us the family we want. It's simple. Thanks for watching the Circle of Kings. As always, we're looking forward to your support. So please hit the like button Share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel to stay updated. Ciao.